Welcome to the channel and today I'm gonna explain and show you how you can shoot straight into the sun without any major complications. We're only gonna use our thumb and no, the sun is not gonna damage our sensor or our eyes. In the beginning when I did it, there was a lot of fuss about it. Like, ah, the sun is gonna damage your sensor or it's gonna da damage your eye because you look straight into it through the viewfinder, but that's all a myth. I'm gonna show you how that I did it and how you can do it in the future. Like you can see in this picture, I shot straight into the sun and you can see a lot of sun flare here covering our foreground of the picture. And that's not what we want. We want to have a very clean foreground without those distractions of uh, sun flares, but we wanna keep those sun rays into the picture and I want to change the blown out sky also. So what I did to create that beautiful picture, I just did this. And you can see already the foreground is much cleaner than the, the picture before. And afterwards, we're gonna blend in this beautiful sky. So what we're going to do, very quick, gonna bring down the highlights, open up the shadows a little bit, gonna bring down the highlights, gonna push the uh, option key or alt key, and uh, something like this. I'm gonna crush the blacks a little bit so you can already see a few spikes onto the white frame. Clarity, I'm gonna bring down the clarity like around 9-ish, something like that or 8. Because I like a very soft photo or a little bit of a soft photo. The vibrance I always go to, whoa, go to around 20 because I, I like color in my pictures. I'm gonna bump up the contrast a little bit because it's gonna bring back our highlights a little bit and also we're gonna get more contrast here into the landscape. And for these two photos, I'm just gonna synchronize those photos. Check all, synchronize. So we have our sun flare and our foreground. They're a little bit the same. Now I'm gonna edit this photo just for the sky. So I'm gonna bring down the highlights. You can see we got a little bit of soft clouds just above the sun. And that's what I wanted to see. Open up the shadows a little bit. The shadows here because I'm gonna blend in this layer and I want to have almost the same shadows or visibil visibility in the picture as our previous photos. I'm gonna bring down the whites a little bit and gonna crush the blacks a little bit not too much but we're just only focused onto the sky also gonna bring down the clarity and vibrance to 20 uh, almost forgot my contrast so this is what we're going to do I hope you can see it we got some blues and here we got some magenta colors and yellow above the Sun and here again some soft blues and that's what I like I forgot to do one thing with the previous photos also. I'm gonna remove chromatic aberration, enable profile, cor cor enable profile correction, sorry for that. And we're gonna also do it with those two photos. <laughs> gonna do the same, enable profile, cor enable profile correction and remove chromatic aberration. That's a very hard sentence to say. Enable profile correction, yes. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna select those three photos. I'm gonna right click, edit in layers as Photoshop. Open as layers in Photoshop. We got our three layers here in Photoshop. Gonna select them all. Then we're gonna go to edit. Gonna auto align layers. And just leave this on auto. Click OK. And then Photoshop is gonna try to match those photos onto each other. So if I remove or click them out, there shouldn't be any movement into the layers. So that's very good. We got our three layers and uh, what I'm going to do, I'm gonna select this one. I'm gonna put our last photo with the sky on top of this one. I'm gonna put a layer mask onto this photo. I'm gonna command and I. So it's all gone. But now we have a black layer mask. So what I'm going to do is B for brush. So we have our brush here. 
gonna change here from black to white because white reveals and black conceals. Opacity around 30, flow around 32, that's good. Uh, what I want to do is my size a little bit bigger and the hardness all gone. But now first, I, will, I made a mistake. First we're gonna do 100% clarity, uh, opacity and flow. I want to do it a little bit faster. So I'm just gonna blend out the sky and you can see because my brush is very soft here, here, underneath it's already showing a little bit of the landscape. So I'm gonna change that in a second. So size, I'm gonna resize it again. Remove my thumb from the picture. Alright, so we already have a little bit of our sunburst and our sky. But we're not done yet. Because now you can see it's very ugly here on the horizon of this picture. I'm gonna put this photo on top of it. Also gonna do a mask and remove or uh, blacken the mask. We're gonna resize our brush a little bit and now we're gonna do the opacity around 30 and flow also around 30 something. And then we're gonna blend in that layer and make it amazing again. So we get our sun flare back. You can see it's very beautiful and all coming together. I'm gonna try to see how far the rays go from the, the sun. So I'm not gonna go here because we're gonna get that sun flare again into the, the foreground and that's what we don't want. I'm gonna do this again, a little bit here. Because now we're doing it with a softer brush. The edges are gonna be very smooth now. It's gonna look a little bit more natural. For me, this is already very good, the work in Photoshop. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up because that will grow my channel. We already are around 250 followers, a little bit less, but we're gonna get those 250 followers. And for those people who are already watching me constantly, Really thank you, it, uh, I appreciate it a lot. I hope you had fun, I hope you learned something about this photo, how to shoot straight into the sun without any complications. Click the notification bell if you want to be notified about future videos. And that's it for today. Thank you for watching and uh, see you next time. Bye.